Hi guys, it's me UB Programmer and I am back with another project which is Calories Burnt Prediction. Let's just see the Flask app of our project. So this is the app and with the heading Calories Burnt Prediction app. So the idea is really simple. You do exercise, you burn some calories, right? So uh, based on uh, your duration of the exercise and some other parameters, uh, we will mm, apply machine learning algorithm uh, to uh, predict the calories or the amount of calories you have burnt right after the exercise so we have this uh, little project description and uh, which is uh, obviously saying uh, please enter the required information and this intelligent website will uh, tell you how much calories you have burnt right so let's just see a demo uh, how this works so my gender is male uh, age is uh, let's say 51 years old uh, height is 190 centimeters uh, weight let's say 94 that's a lot of weight right uh, duration is uh, uh, let's say i have uh, worked out for 29 minutes or 30 minutes right uh, the heart rate is uh, 105 beats per uh, minute and then you got the body temperature let's say 40 degrees celsius so you have entered all of these uh, parameters and let's uh, hit the submit button so you got uh, output as 207.36 amount of calories you have burnt right during that exercise or after that exercise so that's the project and if you just uh, see this uh, submit button so when i hit that it kind of uh, uh, switch between two texts one is please wait uh, we are predicting and the other is the your actual output let's see how it's being uh, the whole uh, scenario done right uh, let's see the code of it so when you get the source code of it uh, you can get it from the link in the descriptions you will get uh, this all these files and this you have this uh, instructions to uh, run the project you can uh, just follow out any of three uh, methods i have described in it and you will uh, just uh, know how to run this on your local machine or you can just uh, text me out on this whatsapp or mail uh, so that i can uh, help you out with the execution of the project right okay and uh, let's just see the code of this project so uh, let's start from the app because that's the main part and if I just remove that remove that yeah okay so you can see we have uh, built this project on the flask or you can say deploy it on the flask and we are uh, initiating our predictor uh, from where we are getting this predictor it is in this uh, file predictor.pkl which is a pickle file and how you can create this file is uh, you have to uh, do the data analysis on the data set first then you apply some algorithm uh, like here so this is the uh, whole the data visualization or exploratory uh, data analysis part EDA part you got some heat maps then you train the uh, so in this uh, project I have used the XG boost regressor uh, for doing the predictions and I have trained this model uh, on the data set I have right and the data set link is also uh, included in the uh, source code so you can always uh, visit that right and then we are predicting this and this prediction is being uh, what you can say uh, uh, displayed on the uh, web page right and so the thing I wanted to show is uh, you dump this 
uh, model or your regressor into a predictor dot pkl so here we are getting this file so we will create our model like that and after that we have the predict function which will uh, predict all the uh, predict the calories burnt based on all these uh, parameters and from where I am getting all these parameters it's obviously from the app right and uh, in the template I have index HTML so uh, in here I am getting this gender age height and uh, all the parameters and then with the help of some JavaScript if you can see with the query selector and uh, obviously get element by ID I am changing this uh, result uh, ID uh, with this any in inner HTML first I am changing it to please wait uh, I'm doing prediction so uh, if anything goes wrong or it's taking so long to predict it will show this message to you uh, to the user but uh, it's really fast uh, because it's a small application right so we actually see the result uh, in a blink of second right so this result and what is this result is let me show you this is the uh, an ID uh, associated to a h2 element or the heading element and this h2 is basically our this output right so that was the whole project and uh, to get the source code you can visit uh, the description there will be a link about it or you can just uh, text me on this whatsapp uh, to discuss about your coursework or project if you are enrolled in any master or bachelor program right okay so uh, i hope you like the video and i will meet you in an other project thanks for watching